you're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. I'm Teresa Duringer, and I'm a founder at Temple Gates Games. So Bazaar was originally created for the Oculus VR gym. Uh, me and my friends got together. We were all working in the same uh, co-working space. We got together and decided to take a stab at this game jam. And we ended up putting together this uh, entry called Bazaar. And uh, it's a flying carpet game where you're navigating through this procedurally generated city. Um, and it, as you navigate and you're steering with your eyes, you're collecting different items. Um, so the game uh, ended up winning, uh, being a winner in the jam, and that was really exciting for us. That gave us the validation that what we were making uh, was resonating with people out there playing virtual reality games. And we decided to formalize it and officially take our company, um, have an LLC, and officially take that in a VR-specific direction. A lot of us grew up with Star Trek, and we all just envisioned the holodeck. In fact, if you go to our debug menu, we did all like the holodeck. Um, but there were some physics issues <laughs> with that model. <laughs> so um, for me, when I first started doing some of the different demos that were available, uh, I was get getting very frustrated because the world was so compelling, so immersive. I wanted to walk forward, explore everything. And the developers would tell me, don't, you're going to hit a coffee cup. You're about to knock over a table. Don't move. So that's why I decided to put this game on a flying carpet. You're on the flying carpet, and so you get to go through the world um, but you're not compelled to walk. You're not compelled to move your legs. So you still get that satisfaction of exploration and you're navigating with your gaze, but you really don't have to disrupt the world around you. So this, this is a Samsung Gear and uh, this is powered by Oculus uh, in collaboration with Samsung. And it takes a uh, Note 4 phone or an S6. Um, you just plug it right in and that is where everything is getting powered from so you don't need any kind of cord or anything like that. I really like it. It's very portable. Um, it's a lot of fun to develop on. Um, so now um, I'm, I'm in Bazaar. I'm in this mystical land and I am in a tent and I'll just look here at the play button. Now I'm flying. So as I'm flying along I can look all around and there's uh, 360 degrees of motion of freedom of uh, vision so I can look all around and I'm navigating with my eyes. Collecting things, nodding to continue. So just now I was pulling a star up from the world into the sky because the entire inventory system is in the constellation. So you'll see this glowing dendritic structure that's growing out in front of you in the sky and actually you realize that's your mini-map. So as you explore this procedurally generated labyrinth, you have a reference of where you're at in the world right above you. Just like the ancient sailors would sail using the, the stars, we kind of nodded to that with our game.